Hey, we're rolling. We're okay. here at the Unconference at the Computer uh, Museum in Mountain View. So, um, tell us what gave you guys the idea. I know there's been a lot of unconferences lately, but um, but you seem to be pushing this in a big way. So, tell us a little bit. Um, your logic why and yeah well uh, basically we think it's like a really good fit for their brand because uh, we're all about the read right web so it's more of a two-way process on conferences because uh, everybody who attends the conference is involved and in, you know discussing topics and setting the agenda uh, so it's just a really good fit for our brand but also uh, the type of people that our blog attracts are more kind of thoughtful um, you know uh, influential type people so uh, if you get all those uh, that type of person all under one roof the the level of conversation that comes out of it and uh, the ideas is just really high so uh, that was another reason why we wanted to do that for me and today do you think I mean I've been attending some of the sessions obviously didn't get to all of them but in terms of the breakout do you think it's um, more sort of I'm getting the sense maybe 80% product and developer kind of folks and 20% 30% new business development and marketing that's what it um, feels like but do you guys have a better sense yeah, I think we're like right at the start of the day we did a hands up on who was who did what and um, there are a lot of entrepreneurs here, a lot of developers. Um, so yeah, I think you're probably about right. Maybe a little bit more biz dev. I thought maybe like 40% maybe. I'm not too sure, but um, yeah, it's a good mix of people. And um, but they're all like ide ideas people. You know, everybody that comes here has got ideas that they contribute, and uh, so that's what I really like about this format as well. One of the things that I thought was humorous just now is you know I've been to unconferences before, and people will you know they'll often put up something that they're are passionate about or know something a lot about, right. but it turns out the mobile marketing one was actually uh, proposed by someone who knew absolutely nothing about really? marketing in the mobile space, oh, cool. put it up there because he wanted to learn more about it and see what kind of people w would okay. be attracted to the table. So I thought that yeah. was kind of an interesting... I noticed that table was one of the more popular ones as well. Right? It was, yeah. it was, yeah. and it was, you know, everything yeah. from, and, and most of it had nothing to do with traditional marketing, which yeah. was fascinating. Well, that's the thing, like, you can never tell what's going to be popular and it's, you know, when people set the agenda, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of good ideas, but like uh, I was just wandering into some sessions and you know, you just never, you're kind of surprised by uh, what you get in some sessions. So um, yeah, and that's a really good example that I'll just talk about. So what, what did you learn today? Um, I, I got a whole bunch of ideas, like um, I, I got a whole bunch of ideas for blog posts, which was uh, pleasing for me personally, um, but just like the, um, the way that people think uh, the industry is going to develop and the types of applications that they're thinking about, um, I just got a much better understanding of what's coming next in mobile. Um, so, for example, there are um, a bunch of people talking about uh, HTML5 applications in the mobile browser, and um, there seems to be a lot of excitement around that right now. It's right, absolutely. And that is clearly on the background, yeah. letting us know that we have to go to another session. So, just it's, um, yeah. yeah, one last last question: Where uh, is Read Write Web going with mobile? Any future uh, plans to, to to cover more mobile? Yeah, um, I mean. I think uh, I said to somebody before that um, a lot of the innovation with startups seems to be hitting so, in the mobile space right now, uh, and so that means we're going to cover it a lot more as we cover innovation. Uh, so I'm really excited about that because there's a lot of innovation happening with iPhone, Android, iPad, and Windows 7, and Windows Mobile 7, and, and all of them. So, um, yeah, I think we'll cover it So all. you guys will be doing more on conferences, hopefully, in the future? Yeah, we've got another one in June, actually, in New York City. In New York uh, City. I was just going to ask about other locations. Yeah. Okay, so that's yeah. great. Yeah. And uh, we'll include a URL so people can tune in for more info. Thank you. And let's take a look at some of the topics. Yeah. End of day wrap-up. That's 5 o'clock. That's what you are hearing now. Followed by beer at the Tired House. The Tired House? The Tired House. The tired House, yeah. All right. International Mobile Markets, Lessons for Location based mobile marketing. Let's take a look at some of the really great topics that we had today. Thanks very much. Richard McMahon is a read-write web. And on the noise versus signal.